wasn't interested in doing any more paper cartridge videos, but uh, I had a request from the Elam Boy 6598 writes, I always love videos over paper cartridges in a smooth bore. I make many different styles of paper cartridges for my smooth bore musket and my rifled musket. I would love to see a buck and ball paper cartridge video from you, sir. I know you will make it very entertaining. Well, <laughs> thanks very much for those kind words, my friend. So what we're going to do is we'll head up here to the little building I got, and we're going to put together 10 of these rascals. And we're going down to the zoo bottoms and uh, have a tea party. <laughs> protection is strongly recommended. It would be kind of cool to use this type of paper. Philadelphia, May 19, 1766. Repeal of the Stamp Act. Well, I like that. Let's put the Stamp Act paper right into action today. And yeah, Brother Barry showed me a little bit about how to do this. I'm kind of deviate from his method a little bit. Not much. Get a piece of paper like this. Metal period correct stuff. And I don't need that on there. Get my little stick. Just a common old stick. It's just about the size of a 440 ball. I'm gonna roll it over a time. And he showed me to kind of do this. It's kind of put the end of it on there. I may have a little excess paper on there, but just I cut that off later, but then roll it on up like that. And generally, you won't need paper or glue or anything on the front end. But here's where I'm going to kind of deviate. I'm going to put a little paper, put a little string up here on this end, so it won't fall apart on me. Because I'm kind of a rookie at doing this kind of stuff. What I'll do next is I'm going to pull the stick all the way out. And I'll put the, the buck in first. So I'll put one, two, three, four, five of them in there. And a four, four, oh, ball right on top of that. I'm going to put the stick back in there and pull it back just a little bit and feel where it ends, right there. That's just about where my string is. That's cool. So I'm going to tie it up here right where that one ends. That separates the ball from the powder, which comes in kind of handy after you put it into the barrel. Okay, now that that's all done, kind of pull the stick out, just lay it in here for a minute and get the powder put in there. And I'm going to put probably anywhere from 60 to 80 grains of 2 ounce shoots in. That's about good enough. I'm going to cap the horn up even though I'm not shooting. And just kind of roll the paper back up that's kind of unraveled a little bit. And feel down to where the paper stops. So right there is where it stops. Kind of flatten it out a little bit and bend it over as such. And kind of go the other way one more time. And there we go. As far as I'm concerned, it is done. Let's go see if we can uh, mess up uh, Brother British Billy's tea party. <laughs> Look at British Billy in action. <laughs> you want to invite us to a tea party. Real brew tea, that label says. What we're going to do is we're going to put these cartridges to the test. So let's get back in time to, I don't know, let's say, what, 1774? Was that the year of the Boston Tea Party, I think? Let's head back to those days and let's have us a real old-fashioned Kentucky Tea Party. Now let's move back about 30 yards back here in the woods. And we're going to put these buck and ball loads to the chance to see what happens. <laughs> see if we can spoil British Billy's little silly tea party. <laughs> this ought to be fun if I can get them to work. <laughs> get this thing right out of the old pouch here. 
and bring it forward. This end here is what we're going to bite off. Put a little bit in the pan. Make sure we can even get it to work. The cock is in half cock. And what we're going to do now is just pour the rest of it right down the inside of the old barrel. As such. And since we've already got it ready to prime, pull it back to full. Let's see if we can whack out his little silly keyboard. <laughs> Get over here where you can see this. Come on, take it out. Well, hang fire, that was unusual. Can we get that tea? Let's take care of his old tea party. Come on, Mark, get it. Tear a little bit off. Back to first click or half cock. Some in there. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do this time. Let's Tamp it all the way down, it's down, and let's get it. Oh. Not too fond of these paper cartridges, my friend. I know some of you are, but not me yet. Half cock. the pretty standard was three shots a minute and if you were good you could do four so let's see if we get three shots a minute with a half dull flint a british billy about 30 yards away trying to give me a tea party <laughs> three two one go can we do it oh put a little bit too much powder in there i believe uh, get in there Hit it! Hit it! Got him! Whether it uh, did any damage or not, I don't know. Half cock. Hmm, put a little bit too much powder in there. That's got to be an art to figure that out. Oh gosh. Now you might know the first two would go in easy, but easy had to fight to get them in. It's already been a minute? Wow. That's a fail. Yeah, let's do some different shooting since I can't do it three in a minute. The cartridges were sticking in a barrel. I was going to just ram the stock on the ground like I did a minute ago and shoot it that way. Yeah, let's get him some other way. How about it, brother British Billy? I'll take you out this way. Look at that one. Slide right all the way down. Figures when I'm not timing it. Let's get him. Dull Flint, let's get him. <laughs> Got his tea party. He crashed and burned. <laughs> let's go look at him. I love it. <laughs> not much of tea party now. <laughs> At least with one of them. This is still good. Let's set that up and shoot that rascal get. <laughs> that might not work too well. That's not good. Got one stuck down there a little ways. The cartridge, I tore it apart. And stuck in there about two inches. That's not good. Man gonna have to shoot it out looks like that's not good let's just do it that way and get him anyway 
Hey, well, it came out. Although I'm not too sold. Be sure that's all the way down. And it is. Not too sold on these paper cartridges. Let's get it. Come on, boy, get him. <laughs> the top model's down. One left. The dog went. That boy is scared of me. Look at him. He went down again. He scared this last shot. That's what it is. I'm not sold on these paper cartridges, folks. Uh huh. Let's pour the powder down in there. Load up the old-fashioned way. Take these balls out. There's that 440 ball. Drop it down in there. Those are five little 390s. Now let's put a little paper wadding on it. Hold it in place. And set that last little tea bottle up so we can blast it away. <laughs> Leave British Billy out of it. Ooh, baby. Oh, British Billy. Lost his hat. Pretty tough. No tea party for me today. <laughs> Let's take care of it the right way then. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm not sold on those paper cartridges. I think I'm going back to the powder horns and measurers after this one. Those are just too much trouble to load up. Now, I know there's probably better ways to make the cartridges so they fit better, but four or five of those that uh, made a little skinny would smack the stock on the ground and they went all the way down. That, that would be cool if I could figure out a way to make them look like that. Appreciate you guys watching every week. Remember, Jesus does love you. We'll catch you next week on another adventure of some type. <laughs> I'll find something to shoot. Don't worry. <laughs> we'll catch you next time.